Hey guys, how are you? Tom McKeown, www.yourtruechange.com. Welcome to the Scheme Life, uh, episode number two uh, of the new show, which basically just gets into the uh, everyday life of a uh, full-time uh, network marketer. Uh, and basically, um, so that way you get to know uh, who I am, uh, about me and my family and the things that um, you know we go through, uh, random thoughts and stuff like that. So you obviously know that I'm a real person. Uh, I exist. I'm not like uh, Simone, that movie with Al Pacino, uh, some like you know CGI figure uh, or some scam artist in Nigeria uh, trying to get money from some relative of yours that doesn't exist uh, that happens to have your last name. Wink, wink. So um, today I just want to get a little bit personal, uh, being of course the second episode, uh, make a splash here and basically talk about uh, what my motivation is uh, with my life and uh, why I do uh, what I do. And, uh, you know, whenever I think about my why and, um, you know, uh, how I've come to make the decision that I've made to pursue the type of life that I have, uh, with all the different things out there that you could do, uh, with all the different options out there, why is it that I'm here, uh, you know, making YouTube videos and, um, you know, trying to build businesses uh, and playing the risky game and walking the uh, tightrope, especially, you know, now having four kids and uh, being married and being responsible for so much, why not just settle down and get, you know, some, you know, job and some cubicle or some office and, uh, you know, just get a consistent paycheck and do all that, right? Um, and really what it comes back to for me is uh, this 100-year-old uh, uh, hat uh, from Ireland that my grandfather gave to me um, right before he died uh, back in uh, 2007. Uh, my grandpa, uh, Jack Murphy, actually died uh, about 30 days prior to my wedding. Okay, so he, he died in July of 2007, but anyway, uh, the reason why this hat is so significant is because, you know, uh, my grandfather grew up um, largely uh, in the Bronx, New York, uh, in a predominantly Irish and Italian neighborhood, um, and, um, you know, every all of his kids went on to become successful corporate types, right? You know, some of them own their own businesses, some of them uh, went on with some Fortune 500 companies, with some big Wall Street banks, and did all kinds of stuff. Uh, but yet, with time, he was always by far the most happiest, right? Uh, and he was always a person that people never understood because he would just kind of sit there, and he would smoke a cigarette, and he would wear this hat, uh, or similar hats like it, and basically, uh, he would always just tell jokes, and every time someone wanted to complain to him about their life or gossip or talk mean or say something about somebody else, uh, what he would do is he would just sit there and make jokes, right? And he would try to change the subject, uh, and he or he would bring laughter to the situation. And I just think that that's really unique uh, because. He spent his whole life just talking to people and making people laugh and making people smile and empowering people. And, you know, he wasn't rich or famous or anything like that. And his parents came from Ireland and he basically just sat there. And in, in later years of his life when uh, he um, was diabetic and his limbs uh, were um, up to par, he would ride around in one of those little rascals, right? So one of those electronic wheelchairs. And... Uh, he would just sit there and smoke his cigarette and ride around in his rascal and make jokes and talk to random people and, you know, make them uh, smile and make them feel empowered. And, yeah, he was always the happiest person on earth, even though he didn't really have that much, uh, unlike all of his kids and unlike, you know, most of the people that knew him. Um, and, you know, I always think back to why it is that I choose to dedicate my life to making people happy, to empowering people, to praising people. And to, and to teach them to build their own business and really comes back uh, to my grandfather uh, and this hat that uh, he left for me uh, right before he died because uh, it just reminds me of the kind of person that he was uh, where uh, all he wanted was to see a smile on the face. And it didn't matter uh, what took place at the end of each day as long as he saw a smile uh, on at least one person's face uh, by the end of the day, that's what made a day complete for him, right? Uh, you know, he wasn't after money. Uh, you know, he wasn't after power. Uh, he wasn't really after being um, successful. He was after being significant. 
And I think that's something that uh, our society doesn't really measure enough. It's great to be successful, but I think we all know that success is relative, right? Money is not the only thing. Power is not the only thing that um, shows your success. It's also uh, many other things too, right? Uh, what kind of impact you have in people's lives? What kind of uh, gratitude uh, um, um, you get from doing things that you do for people? But it's also just as important uh, to be significant, not just successful. And so every time uh, I I think back to making the decisions why I make, why I walk this tightrope every day, and do what I do, and take these risks, I look back to this hat and I find out about you know what my why is uh, and um, I, I want to basically ask you, you know, do you know what your why is for why you do it is what you do? Do you have a reason uh, or something that you have, uh, whether it be an object like this uh, or something in your heart that would help you ask yourself, why, do you, why, why is it that I do what I do? Um, is, it, is, it, is it to go after being success or is, uh, I'm sorry, go after being successful or uh, go after being significant, right? Both are really important, but I think the latter one is something that all too often people just put by the wayside, but it's just as important as being successful. So thanks again. Uh, this is the 100-year-old hat from Ireland, uh, and I uh, appreciate you joining me. Tom McCown at uh, www.yourtruechange.com.